guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Cinquanta Coxman of www.cinquantacoxman.com. Smile for me. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every time that I release a new video. Today, I'll be doing an unboxing of my Printify candles. I did do a video and I told you that Printify has now three different print providers that will be providing candles for print on demand. One of them was printed mint and I've already reviewed them. I've already talked about them. There was no reason for me to get a sample from that brand, but I did get a sample from the seventh aromatherapy and candle builders. I do have those two candles here with me. A little bit of specs about it. The total cost for the two candles was $46 and 52 cents. I did use a $20 off coupon. If I did use a coupon, I think I was looking at about 60 bucks. I don't know the exact breakdown of the cost. I ordered these candles on October 28th. The one from 7th, Aromatherapy, came on November 1st, and the one from Candle Builders arrived on November 2nd. I do have both candles here, and I'm going to unbox them. I already cut the package open so that I can open it up easily on camera. This is the one from the 7th, Aromatherapy, and the, I think this deflated but this was like really puffed up that's deflated it comes in the box it was wrapped around in that green paper and then you have a little plastic and then in the video i thought that this was cork but this is literally like a piece of hard board paper or something the name of this candle company is seventh avenue Apothecary. The scent is minted lavender and sage. And this one smells like lavender and sage. And it's a two wick candle. Looks really good, really smooth on top. I do have my lighter here so I can light it, but I want you guys to pay attention to my design. I designed my design in Canva and it's purple and it's on the container. But this color purple came out amazing this is the exact color i use so to know that the colors came out really good now a tip i did this on purpose i knew that my design would be cut off but i wanted to do that to show you that if you don't do a design that has like an edge you will not get that full you know you won't get the full aspects of your design i did that on purpose just to show but if I was to sell this candle, I would make sure my design was even all the way around. You would be able to see the top of all of my designs all the way around. But the color is amazing and it came out really good, smelled good as well. I'll wait till the end to light both candles. But at the bottom, it just has the warning label and then information. This one is a 65 plus hour burn time and it's 11 ounce. That's the first candle from 7th. Avenue apothecary. So here's the second candle from candle builders and what I must say is I am Very disappointed that the candle came in a poly mailer. It does have the little pop bubbles and then it came wrapped in some Poppy paper definitely not safe definitely not safe here is the candle from candle builders I did the I'm building a brand. I'm always busy a uh, nine ounce candle smells like a millionaire the top is white i did notice that my top came with a little dent here i don't know if that's from it possibly being dropped or how it was handled when it was shipped but there's like a little dent here in the take the cap off and this is the inside of the candle very smooth and what i will say about this one that's comfort spice is strong it, that scent is out of here. This is Comfort Spice. And that's the inside of that candle. That's the 9 ounce. And here's the 11 ounce. And then I'll hold them side by side. This is the 11 ounce. And this is the 9 ounce. You guys can see the difference in size. Burn time 65 hours. And I think the burn time for this is like 40, 50 hours. I'm going to light both of the candles. My fan is on here. I just lit this one. I don't even know if you can really see that, but <laughs> it's lit. I want to set that aside on my desk and I want to light the comfort spice. 
can see that's lit as well. And I'm gonna let both of these burn and I'll probably talk about what I feel about them in the comment sections. But if I did, the 11 ounce is like straight up $32. You would have to charge anywhere from $40 to $50 for this candle. The other one was between six or $8. So you could probably get away with charging 20 to $25 for that candle. Again, it really depends on who are you serving? Will your customers pay that much for a candle if this is the right decision from you? I will say, if you think about doing printed mint, I would probably shop at Printed Mint versus going through Printify for them to be a provider because the price was slightly higher. I hope you guys enjoyed that review and unboxing of the Printify candles for print on demand. Let me know if you decide to create a print on demand candle business so that I can support you. Until next time, I hope you're enjoying my content and I love you more than I love this video. Peace.